here with Miranda Kerr. Hi, guys. Here she is. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. So it's a great day. We're so happy to be here. We're going to talk about a, cool, a couple of cool things. Heavy Metal Detox Smoothie. Miranda does that. She does the celery juice. And this is great. Health is wealth. That's what I say. And I'm, I'm so happy that I get to come on here and chat with you about all the wonderful things that we're both doing and that yeah. you're like educating people about. So that's really important for people to know. Well, you've always cared about like what people put on their bodies. You mm -hmm. care about like, like your core organics. It's about like skincare that doesn't have bad chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. So it's like you certified organic. Yeah. Cause what you put on your skin soaks into your bloodstream. Exactly. So it's really important that we're conscious of what we're doing and putting on our skin and make an yeah. educated choice about it. Yeah, yeah. And you've always known this stuff for years, and that's what's so cool because your line's been out for a while now. Yeah. And it's really established because it's so healthy for the skin. And so it's like you know a lot about what people should do. And, you know, I remember we were talking recently, and you're like, no, I don't like the scented candles with the chemicals in them. Oh, no, yeah. No, it's <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. But there are some simple things that people yeah. actually don't realize and when you understand and you can see what what is, you know, if you read the ingredients and whatnot on the back of any household goods, what's in yeah. your hair shampoo, what's in your products that you're putting on your skin, then yeah. you make an educated choice and say, yeah. okay, well, I'm going to have that or I'm not going to, I'm going to, you know. It's, yeah. And it's like how we are with our food. Like I try my best to eat healthy and organic as much as possible and I make educated choices about it. And yeah. I feel like that is... The best you can do, really. I know, I know. Day. You you eat really clean, and that's what I've always admired. Like you're doing the the you know, heavy metal detox smoothie. Love you're, it. Yeah, Love and you're you. mentioning how people think it's going to be this like really harsh detox or something, but it's not. It's, yeah, this is a very gentle smoothie that I love and I have every morning the heavy metal detox smoothie yeah. with your it's your recipe. Um, I love it, and I actually have a even. Bigger, a bit of a bigger bottle. A bigger one than that. Yeah. That's a small one. And, and um, <laughs> yeah. with my celery juice in the morning, I have 32 ounces. Cool. Which, I mean, that's that's, that's perfect. Like, I tell people I like started, 32 ounces. I started with like this, but yeah, yeah. the 32 ounces I'm yeah. loving so much. Yeah. And you know, everyone in my family is drinking celery now, even Flynn. No way. And Evan. <laughs> Evan loves his celery. He's yeah. like, he didn't, in the beginning, he's like, oh, it's probably not going to make a difference. And now I yeah. see he even tells his friends, celery the celery you've got to get on it it's so good it I helps know. just with like the brain fog with energy levels with just health in general i know every now and then you'll hear out there like there's some naysayers saying don't drink celery juice you don't want to juice celery you want to keep the fiber and i'm always like no 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 with this is an herbal this is an herbal power right here it's, so it's herbal medicine alkalines your system yeah fast though like fast Super versus fast. slow alkalinity it actually alkalines us quickly and that's something that happens too that's why people get relief with acid reflux almost immediately yes and all of that actually when i was younger i had a little bit of um acid reflux and I think it was um emotional at the time because I had lost my boyfriend oh, yeah. he'd passed away instantly in a car accident and I had some worry and concern and that had brought like kind of you know how emotions oh, yeah. are connected to your health <clears throat> when you have whatnot. a loss I talked about that in the medical medium books they talked about that in medical medium book one and in, uh, some of the other medical medium books that like when you get that great loss yeah. and and it's something so, so hard in a struggle like that, it's it could really hit you hard, too, on a whole nother. What yeah, I wish that. that I'd known about celery juice back then because it would have really helped, like, soothe yeah. soothe my digestion. And now it does every day, which I'm so grateful. Well, you've been doing it long term, too. That's what's cool. Like, And I tell people, I tell you guys out there all the time, and I tell other people I run into all the time, you just don't do it for just five days. <laughs> don't do it for... And to seven days and you're done and every that's day. it. Every day. Yeah, and you're like every day like for a long time now. Yeah, I'm every day for a, a, so a couple, of, couple years? of years. Yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's made the biggest difference and continues to make the biggest difference to my health. And I thought I was healthy before I met you. And you have taught me so much more than what I even thought, you know, I even thought was even out there. And obviously every day we're learning more and more. And Sure. And that's obviously what life is about. But it's these simple things like the celery juice, like 
having the banana and actually potatoes. Yeah, I love, which everybody's afraid about there. I love the fact that you're <laughs> really all about potatoes and incorporating like potatoes, steamed potatoes yeah. into your diet and not being afraid of the carbs. Yeah. Because they've also been a, like since I met you, a staple in my diet. So. That's incredible. And, and the potatoes have been really helping me as well. That's amazing. Like, I've, very soothing. Yeah. You know, in my Cleanse the Heal book that's going to be coming out, you guys, that book, I, I mean, potatoes play a big role in that. It's really important because there's you can mono eat with potatoes. They're so good for you for healing problems with the digestive tract and the intestinal tract, and they're so soothing. But meanwhile... It's funny, they're like hated out there. They're hate, and what I always find out there is they're usually hated by um, people in the industry that don't know what causes chronic illness. So mm -hmm. it's like, wait a minute, if you don't know what causes all the different conditions out there that women are suffering with, the fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue syndrome and, and the like rheumatoid arthritis and the Lyme disease and all these other things that are now becoming mysterious, like even Lyme disease is now a mystery to the industry because it's autoimmune now, they say. So with all of that, it's like, and then we're gonna hate on a potato. I've seen people get their lives back from those potatoes. I mean- Potatoes are yeah. like really, really helpful, especially for digestive issues. Oh yeah. Um, the steamed potatoes. Um, what are some of your recipes that are so yummy? You've got a whole bunch of them and they, they have the potatoes in them. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, I think we have a whole bunch of them, exactly. There's all kinds of ways you can make them. And steamed potatoes are like, I know everybody likes to bake potatoes, yeah, and it makes it fun, yeah, right? But steamed potatoes, are, they're quite addictive, I feel. Yeah, <laughs> they're they are. really nourishing, they're filling. Yeah. And um, right before I came here, I, w I was at an event, and then I packed, because I always pack my food in the car. So I packed a salad, I had steamed potatoes, and then I just <laughs> wrapped it in a little seaweed roll. Yeah. And I was able to eat it on my way here. Incredible. And see you. And, um, and it was easy. It was easy. It was easy. Yeah. Very yeah. easy. And you don't have to worry about it going bad. Yeah. It's easy to, you know, travel with. Because everyone these days is on the go, whether or not they're going to work or running, getting on an airplane. Or yeah. Not, so. You can take them with you. You could yeah. steam a bunch of them the night before. You could have them in the fridge, take them with you. What I like about this, the potato is it's got L-lysine in it. And L-lysine is actually what knocks down all of those viral issues that everybody's struggling with, with all their different conditions. You know, eczema psoriasis and like the fibro, the CFS and the lupus. And, and that's why it's so important to have those potatoes. They're actually a medicine which is really cool. Nobody really knows that. They just think, oh, it's bad. And what they're really thinking or what they're really associating the potato with is all the sour cream, the butter, oh, the yeah. cheese, and the oil. <laughs> all those extras. That's, that you don't want to be on. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want that on there. So the potatoes. you're not doing that, right? No. You're not throwing all that on there? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so that's really cool because that's what makes it work. Mm -hmm. What you know, what I also find about the potatoes is so funny that we're. I didn't expect us to be talking about potatoes today. So this is really cool. Um, yeah, and you don't know what you're. You never know what's going to. Never know what's going to pop up. Yeah. And the potato is great for like food poisoning when people get food poisoning, oh, and so many, know. yeah, so many people out there. I hear it all the time. You see it out there. Well, I said in this restaurant, I got food poisoning, or I'm really sick and I don't know what it is, and it was food poisoning. And I notice, I'm well, notice. Well, Spirit of Compassion has told me this going back decades now. Is it's one of the most quickest ways of healing and recovery from food poisoning is using potatoes. yeah just like steamed potatoes yeah you can also blend them right make like a potato soup yeah after you've been through the heck of the, the total like upsets of the food poisoning for a good few days and you're just coming out of there and your stomach feels all sick and you feel like and you're now you're just you're you're looking for help and what do i have do i have a parasite do i have this I have that and you're just dealing with leftover foodborne illness and then you bring in those potatoes as your recovery food a little bit at a time and and it can bring people back. I've, I've seen so many women struggling with food poisoning issues where they can't eat foods and, and actually get comfort eating really anything. They're struggling for months after food poisoning. I've seen yeah. some people where it's like six months, nothing is right. They have gastritis, they have mm -hmm. bloating, they mm -hmm. have all these things after it. And I've, and I've always seen potatoes be that answer to help bring people back. So it's so cool. And, and same with the coconut water, right? Yeah. Coconut water with bananas, yeah, another one a, you taught me. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah. Just make a shake, blend it. Bananas coconut and coconut water. water and that's Speaking it. of bananas, 
Big bananas. <laughs> <laughs> the bananas good. are good. They are. They're, they're, I mean, important. it's another carbohydrate. Here I am, um, breastfeeding mother, going to eat again. <laughs> well, that's how you build breast milk. That's the whole, it's like carbs build the breast milk. Yeah. If you I'm take a snack. <laughs> you know, I, I've, I've seen this over the years with so many people that have come to me looking for help. I've had doctors talk to me about this. I've had, and where there's difficulty building breast milk with women. Mm-hmm. you know, after birth. And what happens is... No, no, I'm be- a milkmaid. <laughs> Thanks yeah. to the bananas and the potatoes. Yeah, potatoes help. And yeah, it's exactly. And and any kind of any kind of food with glucose, because breast milk, mm-hmm. breast milk is basically glucose. So that's what it is. It's a carb. It's a carb drink. It's sugar water. Hmm. And there's very low that's fat, very so low fat in breast milk. Exactly. Yeah. And really low in protein. That's what breast milk is. It's low protein. It's low fat. And, um, and it's filled with sugar water. Yeah. That's a breast milk kit. So if you, and there's so many women that were, that if they go like, where they're just all high protein, no carb while trying to build breast milk, they lose the breast milk. So to bring the, bring breast milk back, it's always been like, no, you got to bring bananas in. You got to bring potatoes in. Bananas you, are great. <laughs> yeah. So it's really important. <laughs> That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Like on a like a, on a day that you're eating healthy, because you I, honestly, every time I talk to you, it's like you're always like, no, no, I'm still, I'm still on it, I'm still doing it, mm-hmm. I'm still, you know, this is what I'm having, I'm having, you know, the salads that you have in yeah. your books, um, all those recipes where you can make even the the mock cheese sauce. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's like, really good. That tastes so good, <laughs> even though there's no cheese or dairy in it. Um, and I just really feel like you can make yummy foods that are nutritious and delicious. And that's what I'm all about. And um, especially with feeding the kids, there are so many wonderful like vegetables and salads and things that you can incorporate into their, their diet. And even my little one, Hart, <laughs> who's 21 months, he has his celery juice and asks every day for it, every morning. Incredible. On an empty stomach. He has it in his little sippy cup, his celery juice. Incredible. And he has his coconut. He's always like, Coco, Coco, Coco. <laughs> He's so I sweet. I mean, and you know, when like when babies want celery juice and yeah. toddlers want celery juice, and I mean, it, it's really remarkable because, you know, it's like. They can, they're, they're I guess they're, they can feel it, right? Yeah, well, it's like the intuition of a baby. You know, at that. And blueberries, the frozen blueberries. Yeah. Every morning, Hart has his blueberries and he gets it all over his fingers and I just let him make a mess because they're so (laughs) good for him. And everything on his fingers, (laughs) his mouth, everything gets blue. And I'm like, okay, time for mommy to wipe your hands. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, the wild blueberries. So good for him, the wild blueberries. Yeah, it's the, it's the literally the richest blue there is in any fruit on on the planet yeah it's the wild blue and the smoothie he actually likes the smoothie too that's incredible yeah the smoothie's good because it's got the blueberries in there the coconut what have you got a little bit of dolls yeah a little bit of that in there spirulina spirulina, barley grass grass. banana yep banana exactly Mm -hmm. it's so perfect yeah and the reason why you know like i get always get asked this question like why why is this heavy metal detox smoothie construct it like this and for one is in order to get a nutrient into our cells you have it has to be glucose that drives it into the cell so nutrients like if we take supplements all day long and we you know because there's some great supplements out there and there's different things or some foods that you think are nutritious because you're told they may be speaking of supplements i forgot to take my b12 this morning my b12 (laughs) under my and my lemon balm (laughs) under my tongue my goodness i have it in my bag i'll have to do that yeah, well, that's what's cool. If you're doing it every day and you, like, miss a day, okay, it's fine. Yeah, I haven't missed a day Because you're doing it yet. every day. I'm doing it every day, but I haven't <laughs> missed it yet. I'll, I'll do it as soon as we finish it. What's your dosage anyway, the B12? Um, the B12, I'm doing two dropperfuls. Okay, cool. You're sticking with what I wanted. And is it four two... dropperfuls of the lemon balm. Okay, good. Is under it four dropperfuls once a day? I ha- Or do I have you in uh, four twice a day? I'm trying to remember now. I was doing once a, a day. It was, that's but great. But maybe I could do, should I do twice? You can do two dropper fulls twice a day. You can do four oh, so once do a day, four and that's okay. Day. That's what I do, four once that's a okay. day. That's okay. That's actually incredible. Yeah, and the celery force. 
And the celery force, yes. which keeps like our brains sharp. I mean, I love the celery. Force. Yeah, I don't even need to sleep. Like I don't. Okay. Have, I was just finishing a book deadline. I don't even need to sleep with that. Like, I'm, that, I'm, I'm a breastfeeding mom. It. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping like I don't know four, maybe five hours a night. And to be honest, I've never felt better. That's incredible. And that's because I'm eating healthy and I'm taking care of myself. And you know, I've always said it's about a balance. And I like to have like eighty percent healthy and twenty percent indulgent. But You've been mentoring me to be more strict with myself, which has definitely been paying off in the way that I feel my energy levels and and um, health. But so. you're you're you know what though you like get you get committed you get dedicated to it. It's other people I work with, I'm just like, wait a minute, what are you doing? What did, <laughs> what did you just switch off onto? What what, what, what you're eating tuna? You're eating like, tuna fish now. What are you? <laughs> and I'm always like, stop, stop, all the mercury. Oh or I'm like, you know, wait, you had shrimp? That wasn't on the program. Shrimp wasn't on the program. Yeah. Man, and so, and, and but you're always like, you know, you're always like on it so that when I do a check-in, I'm like, what are you doing? What's going on? You're like, no, um, don't worry. I'm good. Yeah, because I really <laughs> noticed the difference. And look, as I said, Life is a balance. It's about being educated, making those choices, having healthy choices. The celery juice is really just like... It takes things to the next just, level. Yeah, it just takes things to that whole yeah. other level of health and wellness. And I'm just so grateful for that. So thank you. Well, look, it's spirit of compassion. I wouldn't I wouldn't know about it. I would never know just do straight celery juice because everybody like m mocked that what they call the vegetable. They thought that thing's just crudite. You know, that yes. thing's just chop. You know, you chop Have that it with in a your, bit of dip. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of dip. You can chop it up into a salad, I guess. Put a little in a salad. Uh, you know, you can, yeah, put it in a dip, basically. So, <clears throat> so you know, and, but it's like for me, it started in 1975 when I was this little kid. And, and Spirit of Compassion was like, this is going to be an answer right here for a family member that had a struggling back problem and it fixed it. And then, wow. and then Spirit of Compassion was like, no, this is going to, like, I remember Spirit of Compassion trying to convince me because I was just like, you sure I should keep on recommending celery juice? And I was eight and nine years old and 10 years old. And Spirit's like, no, you have to recommend this because this is going to be that, that, that basically that safeguard for people's health like no other that's ever happened on this planet it's going to be that that tool that takes everybody to the next level protects them helps them recover if they're doing something good for themselves this will help take them to that next level even mm -hmm. more so and, and even if they're not doing anything good for themselves it's going to help them yeah if you do it every day it's an everyday yeah. thing i think don't you think it's important it's an everyday it's an every, thing it's like brushing your teeth it's true like exactly. you can't expect to have clean teeth if you don't brush them every exactly. day it's like yeah, yeah so that, consistency yeah. i really feel is important like and i feel like a lot of people might go on it for a little bit then they go off it but it's really important to maintain yeah. the the celery juice well that's There's a, one little thing you can do yeah right it's one yeah. you know it should be like part of your life you should just like when you're taking showers hopefully we have enough this is a, celery planted in the world exactly this should be in there just like anything like anything you do you put gas in your car you're always going to put gas in. you always do celery juice whatever it is something that you know that you always do in your life mm -hmm. and whatever that is but celery juice should always be a part of it like yeah brushing your teeth like all of that it's so important and um and I forgot to remind everybody if you like this video thumbs do give us a thumbs up no, or definitely, two thumbs up. definitely. <laughs> yeah, and and but the bottom line is with celery juice, I find all the time, you know, Miranda is that people will be like, "Well, I tried it for seven days, or I I did it for thirty days, and then I stopped doing it, and I noticed I I was actually feeling better from it." So the stop effect when people actually do it just long enough, and then they stop it, and then they're just like, "Whoa." something changed. Yes. I got to go back on it. So yes. it actually, it actually reminds you to go back on it. It has an ability to remind people to go back on it. How much do you drink celery juice a day? Do you know? Uh, me? Yeah. S 64 ounces is what I try to do. Wow. But I thought I was good with my 34. Well, okay. Wait a minute. No, <laughs> 30, like today it's been this plus yeah. it was 32 this morning. Okay. So it's probably not, I don't know, I don't think that's 64 today, but there's a lot of days where I'm like, I'm like 16 ounces. Like I don't so, have it in the fridge. I take one bunch out and that's all I have. And I run it through and I got like, 
I got 16 ounces, yeah. which is the which I like to use that as the bottom line for people. But yeah, the bottom line is empty stomach first thing in the morning. Empty stomach first thing in the morning. And then if you want to have additional celery throughout the day, you can. It Absolutely. doesn't have to be empty stomach. No, Obviously, it, I'm eating a banana. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to. It's still really helpful. Just don't put anything in it. Do you have, what do you find like at all that like, Everyone some of your always friends, asks, like, there, can I add lemon? I'm like, no, just yeah. plain celery. Yeah. Lemon. What about a carrot? I'm like, no. plain <laughs> celery. What about a carrot? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I know. Everybody wants to put something in it or mix it with something. I'm like, I had my celery cheese, but it had parsley in there and it had this. <laughs> And that's okay, but it's not going to give it what it, it's not going to let it do what it needs to do to help us recover and help us get to where we need to go. Yeah. But you're really eating amazing. You always, you know, you're really eating really clean enough. You're doing 32 ounces. That's mind blowing. A lot of you guys are probably now doing 32 ounces. Some of you guys are doing 16, but 16 was always that like, Hey, you know, that's what you need to have it run through the body, get up to the liver, go up into, go up into your brain, clean everything out, loosen up heavy metal. So the heavy metal detox smoothie can actually pull out the metals even easier. And can you tell me more about the lemon water? Just like, cause yeah. I've been doing that lately as well. Um, just room yeah. temperature lemon water, yeah. 32 ounces, <sighs> yeah. one lemon. Perfect. And why? You wake up in the morning, like all night long, your liver is now working. It's working for you. So whatever you did, if, you, if you're on a high fat diet, if you're doing lots of fats during the day and people are like, I'm not on a high fat diet. Well, if you're on nut butters, <laughs> if you're on nut butters, lots of avocado. avocado. <laughs> and I'm not saying those aren't good for you. It's just that we eat a lot more of them than we should. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. And so you're getting the nut butters, the avocado, you're on all the coconut oil. Then you're, mm -hmm. then you're, maybe you're doing some dairy. Maybe you're doing some goat's milk, whatever it could be. And, or chicken. And so you're doing too many fats throughout a day. And then, hey, look, if you're not struggling with anything and, you, and you're doing all the fats, then your liver will just kind of hang in there for a while until it gets sluggish down the road. Then you'll get your first symptoms and then have to lower the fats. But what happens is that the lemon water is there to flush out those poisons and toxins that get built up by the liver, ready to deliver into the system, ready to get out. So every single night, it's like there's a... There's a workshop going on in your liver. A bunch of elves are in there and they're just working on getting all the poisons out, packaging up, getting them ready. And then that 32 ounces of lemon water. And it's really important that it's 32 ounces somewhere around there unless you can't do that. And I totally get it. So do less. I do it. I, I make sure I bought a 32 ounce bottle. So it's like always I bought like... a 32, 32 ounce bottle that's specifically for my water with lemon. Yeah. I bought another 32 ounce like empty bottle. So I reuse them every day. That's perfect. Specifically for my celery. And then I have another 32 ounce bottle that is for my smoothie. And That's then I amazing. labeled them so that I know every day that goes in there, it goes in there, it goes in there. That's incredible. Yeah. That That's like everybody should be doing if you can. That's it just the makes way things to do easier. it. Yeah. I don't even do that. <laughs> I just, it's a mess in my kitchen. It's just, yeah. I like just to, I like to be organized. So it definitely helps me to have my like, you know, celery yeah. juice bottle, and it's in the 32 ounce, so I know mm. I'm exactly on my 32 ounces, I my lemon water that. bottle, and my, um, the heavy metal detox smoothie, which isn't, it isn't fully 32 ounces, it's like, whatever the recipe is, yeah. it just sometimes, you know, it just fits well in there. It does, yeah. Yeah, because I can perfect. then shake it and add a little more coconut water if it gets too thick. That's perfect. Yeah. Which like one of your favorite medical medium books? I have like a bunch oh here. God. I got I, Liver I, Rescue. I love them all. I got um, Liver Rescue. I, got I do. I love Liver Rescue. I know you like thyroid healing because you because you and I have a we have a photo with holding the thyroid healing. Yeah, we do thyroid <laughs> healing. It's really yes. cool. But like changing foods. I feel like Liver Rescue is good. Also, your is that the first one? Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, I had this. That's, I've had this for a very long time. That's the one that tells a little bit about. Um, my story, if you don't know about it, and my dog, and my dog was drowning and in the ocean, and I went out there, and it was a powerful story because so many people are always like that. That story of what happened is just is just unbelievable. So I'm really blessed that I actually survived that event back when I was younger. But anyway, talk about all kinds of cool things. And the liver rescue yeah, as well, yeah. because. I feel like people don't understand. Oh, also, was it apples? I, when You know when I was pregnant with, because I spoke to you when I was pregnant, the last two pregnancies. Yeah. But the last one, it was just, I was craving apples, like, all the time. Yeah. Like apples, apples. That's incredible. Apples are, 
you know. Well, look, the apples have like electrolytes. It's not like the celery juice electrolytes, but it's really powerful electrolytes. And people underestimate the apples. It's and I really love incredible. red apples, actually. Plus, plus the thing is they cleanse you. The apples are cleansing. That's why it's part of liver rescue. It's mm -hmm. part of it. Just it helps clean everything out of your body. Yeah. And it's important when you're pregnant to have apples. It's important when you're breastfeed to have apples too, because mm -hmm. you know all of those foods are important. It's like. I'm always asked, like, is the heavy metal detox smoothie safe for pregnancy, for breastfeeding? Yes. I, I, I asked you those questions. Yeah, I mean, you know. Because I was like, yeah, oh, I don't want to detox, you know, like, if I'm, if I'm actually, like, making a baby yeah. or if I'm breastfeeding yeah. or whatnot. But and the answer is it actually makes the breast milk cleaner. Yeah. It, it's what's cleaning the breast milk. So that's the whole thing. And you're getting and the protein from he, the spirulina, right? Oh, yeah. There's tons of protein in spirulina. It's really a high-protein food. But it, it's also a <clears throat> like a cleansing food. Not the proteins in it as the cleansing part, but it's a cleansing food where it pulls out not only metals but other toxins so that breast milk gets clean. So you want your alkaline. baby to have, yeah, you want your baby to have the cleanest breast milk. So mm -hmm. that's why it's so important to use that while breastfeeding and being – when, when you're pregnant, it's amazing to have it then. It's yeah. just really a perfect food. And then the glucose in it actually to help with the breast milk. So it's a win-win. And what it's about really... the barley grass? Oh, yeah. That's that's another – That's another. well, it's so high in nutrients. Mm -hmm. Barley grass juice powder is so high in, in phytochemical compounds. So we're talking about antioxidants that are not even registered yet out there. Science and research doesn't even know what's in barley grass juice powder as far as the different antioxidants that aren't discovered. Mm -hmm. And same with the spirulina. There's antioxidants undiscovered. Sa same with the wild blueberries. And these are the very thing that helps us to not age fast. These are the things that actually help us for baby to develop. And it's just, it's incredible. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for spreading um, the... Uh spreading all of this information well, around the world and helping people. Well, look, we're, we're in it together. You're out there helping people. You've yeah. got the Cora Organics, the skin line. So we're doing amazing work. And, well. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Health is wealth. <laughs> well, you guys, remember, thumbs up and subscribe. And, and uh, Miranda Kerr, me, we're going to sign off. And we love you much. Bye.